guy. At some point in my YouTubing, I mentioned that the closest identifier for my sexual orientation is pansexual. And then I got a few emails from you guys asking if I was attracted to pans. Should we tell them? We may have had a love affair or 50. I remember this one time we got together with these poblano peppers. <sighs> So beautiful. But uh, <laughs> those dates are behind me. Don't judge me. I moved on to greater things, such as pretending to have a love affair with pans because people think that's what pansexuality means. But it's not. In all seriousness, pansexuality just means that you experience attraction regardless of gender or sex. Pansexuality is sometimes described as being gender blind. You're a woman? Nice. You're a man? Great. Penises? Bring it out. Non binary? Sweet. Boobs? Those are awesome. Can we cuddle now? Gender identity gender expression, penises, vaginas, anything in between. It's not really a factor in my experience of attraction to people. So you're not attracted to pants, but you're attracted to everyone. No video alter ego pretending to be people. I'm not attracted to everyone. That would be very exhausting. I'm still concerned with someone's values, what kind of person they are, what they're doing with their life, how sexy I find them. It's just that their genitals and gender identity and gender expression have nothing to do with those things for me. So it's pretty straightforward right? Where things start to get a little murkier is when we talk about the difference between pansexuality and bisexuality. The good news is that we define labels. Labels do not define us. Think on that one and your head will start going around everywhere and you'll eventually be like, oh yeah, labels are just words to describe things that we feel. In a general sense, pan means all. Attraction to all genders and sexes. Bi means two. Attraction to two genders or two sexes. I think that's the simplest way to sum it up. Make about what you will. When it comes to things like sexual preference, it's important that each individual has the power to decide what that's going to mean for them specifically. I do get a lot of email from people asking, so am I bi or am I pan? And I have a secret for you. You get to decide. That question isn't for me or anyone else to tell you. Here's what I would do about this dilemma. And by the way, this doesn't just apply to the bi and pan thing. Take some time. I'm talking a long ass time. This could be several weeks. This could be several years. To think about your sexual preferences, to think about your experiences with attraction, think about what you like, what you want. And as you're thinking real hard, philosophizing, finding yourself, keep in the back of your mind, those general definitions. And when the time comes that you need a label to describe all of those thoughts that you have, pick the one that you think most accurately describes you and feels comfortable to use. Because sexual preference is so varied amongst people, the chances of any label 100% describing you, pretty low. All right, y'all, I gotta bounce. There are people that are gonna be walking in here any minute and I don't have any pants on. Although I guess that's their problem, not mine. All right, y'all, I'll see you next week. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. I love that shit even more than pants.